Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I didn't want to talk about the normal difficulty. It just happens that it's the last difficulty that I haven't explored yet. And I'm using energy and um, trying to get, you know, the little bit of units and other items you get for exploring a difficulty. Is it worth it? For quite a few people, the answer is no. Uh, Mom bears one of her sons who plays the game, says he only explores Cavalier difficulty every month and just uses the energy for Battleground. That may be a better way to use it. Not how I roll, but uh, I'm also not nearly as competitive or as good at the game in terms of the highest levels of competition as most people. So uh, I want to make this video because speaking of not being good, uh, I knew with the limited amount of uh, champions that were in this week's Battlegrounds task of God plus Metal that I would be... Um, kind of hard-pressed to find somebody to use. My Angela was not ranked up high. And um, I don't know, I'm, I'm not great with Angela. So I decided to do something to get the final point of this week's Eternity of Pain, which uh, it's always fun to get four points and think, well, I could be done and still get 15,000 six-star shards and two uh, tier five class Calif with selectors and ten... Six stones. The funny thing about the 15,000 six star shards is as great as that is, though, it's that's a Paragon player. It, that's $35 worth of daily specials because that's seven days worth of stamps, uh, which is also amazing. And we now know that's because seven star shards are coming out. But speaking of seven star shards, the reason why this video exists. So I decided that I would use my rank up resources. And at first I thought, we'll take up Angela, but I don't know. Maybe I should have. Uh, she's rank one, and I could have taken her to, I don't know, rank three if I wanted. But I kind of want to save my resources for my six stars that I could either awaken or acquire in the next couple weeks as I start to open my 256,000 six star shards, though it's actually... Much more than that, it's really 286,000 when you consider I already have three basic crystals that I have, uh, well, saved from the Deadpool weekend event. So, I decided to do something that felt real cheap, because it was, something I haven't done much at all this year, other than Scorpion. And that's take up Odin, who is Sig 160. Odin to rank 5. Uh, I should also mention that I have been saving some items that I might as well use in this video. Specifically, six stones, because now all of a sudden I can take that guy to almost six 200. Probably should have thought about that before. But uh, no time like the present. So anyhow, um, with that being said, five star Odin, one revive. Now, had to run a lot of different attempts at it, but one revive. And yet, he's a five-star. He is a rarity that so many people say, especially now that seven stars are coming to the game, unless you want to bring in Ascension, which we assume is going to give our six-star champions a bonus ability. Maybe it'll be SIG 220 or SIG 250, or it's going to give them 10% more attack or health permanently. I, I don't know. We'll get the specifics either at the end of the year or in the spring. But the point is, I have seen people use five stars, especially 565 five stars. And keep in mind, if you want to rank three or even rank four, six star for almost nothing, comparatively priced, you can just use your boosts, particularly my favorite boost, which we used to not see at all. Or very rarely, and now we see it feels like in almost all content, and of course, especially the early access bundles. And that's a 30% greater champion boost for 30% increased attack and health for one hour. Point being, I have seen people use five stars for all content, not just the Eternity of Pain fight this week. Not just for Battlegrounds. I've seen people still use five stars in attack and defense, and look, I get battlegrounds as unique, kind of like Alliance War, because you're timed and 
And yeah, of course, if you have the same skill, a rank four six star is going to take down somebody way faster than a rank five five star. But I've still seen people win battlegrounds fights with five stars at the highest levels. But really, this isn't about battlegrounds. This is about clearing content from Act Eight to Act Seven to, ironically, the act I don't think I'll ever do because I put it in the same conversation as like Labyrinth of Legends and even the Abyss at this point. And that's that the time and, and the game energy, particularly now that you can use the energy on Battlegrounds, is not worth the trade-off of very, very outdated rewards. I believe that the five-star RIP announcement is one of the most tone-deaf, wrong things we have done. And I'm not saying we as in everybody, just plenty of people I've talked to uh, in the community. I don't think five stars are just here for Ascension, and I know this might be different when we get to more of Act 8 and even Act 9, and you've got champions that are, I would say overall like two or 300,000 rated, but again, I know people who ran all five stars, particularly the right five stars, like Aegon or Human Torch, in the Abyss, which have really high overall ratings, and they did it. Yeah, it might take you 50 more hits than a, a six star out right now rank four but if you've got the skill 50 more hits is like let's just say conservatively three more minutes of fighting that's not that big of a deal i want this game to survive i can't believe it's already been around for seven plus years i can't believe i've been playing this game already for seven plus years but the only way that i'm going to accomplish that goal is by helping to remind people that the champions that they've acquired and built up over time and now that we live in an age where kabam can put five dollar double uh, cavalier nexus sales for people uncollected and up multiple times a week uh it's never been easier to get a five star and even a six star though six star is still three percent drop rate ain't great but the five star drop rate of 16 percent you should see a five star on average every time you purchase certainly the max limit of two. And if you get a five-star Nick Fury or a five-star Hercules, like you see in the correct banner of today's offer, that's something that you should celebrate. And that's also something you should consider. It's never been cheaper to take a five-star to rank five, especially those at the highest levels of this new Catalyst store, which I take advantage every week, as you can see. Uh, sometimes I'll do Tier 2 Alpha. I just got a ton more with Act 8, so I'll be holding off on that for a little while, but certainly Tier 5 Basic. You don't need Tier 5 Basic until you take the 5-star to Rank 5. You don't need it to, you don't, you don't need them to take a 5-star to Rank 4. And I'm just really happy to know, and, and the Eternity of Pain was a reminder of that this week. Heck, Battlegrounds was a reminder, especially with some of my defenders, like Korg that uh, five stars still have a lot of value, even as we go into 2023. So I still believe five stars have a ton of value. Yes, I know people are going to push back with certain things like, say, Alliance War or like the top of the top of um, Battlegrounds. But a lot of people, most people, aren't at the top of the top of Battlegrounds, and they also want to still enjoy the champions that they have. And as we hear about seven stars, and Lord knows it's going to be a crazy amount of resources, just take a seven star from rank one to rank two. Um, I think it's they're going to be overhyped. Most most champions, I would take the five star, beyond god tier champions over the seven star, meh champions. And I'm going to be on this hill, and I I don't care if I die on this hill. I still believe in five stars. I will always believe in five stars unless they get banned from like examples of like say X six. But uh, otherwise, if there's not a gate restriction, they're going to be valuable, not just for ascension, but for clearing content in general, especially when a five star. Is your best option to rank up like I was this week with Odin. So that's my rant. I don't know if you agree or disagree, but I wanted to make a video supporting five stars on my channel, and I've done just that.